What is going on everybody and welcome to part 13 of Gary's Mod Game Mode Scripting. In today's part, we're just going to be doing a short one today. And we're just going to be making it so we can open and close our menu using the F4 key. So instead of having to click that exit button in the top right of our derma menu, we can just click the F4 again and it'll close it like it would if we press that X button in the top right. But anyways, let's go ahead and get started. We are going to be working in two files today. The init.lua, our server-side file, and our custom underscore menu.lua file, which contains the code for the custom menu. So let's go ahead and start in our init.lua file here. First thing I want to do here, up at the top of this file, underneath all these includes and add CS Lua files, I want to do a new variable. So local, I'm going to call this open, and set this equal to false. All this is going to be checking is it's going to check to see if the menu is open or closed. And then we will be using this in the next part in this area down here. So, what you want to be checking here is, I'm going to create a little if statement here. You want to be checking if open equal equals false. So, if open is false, so if it's closed, then we want to set open equal to true, because now it is open. Otherwise, so if open is true, or if the menu is open, let's put an end down here. We want to set open to false because now it's going to be closed after we press this F4 key. And then, next up, we want to pass over this open boolean argument in our net message here. And we do this by writing in between this net.start and in between the net.broadcast. Tab over just a little bit just to format it nicely. We want to do net.write bit. And the bit that we want to write is just open. So now that that is done, in our net.receive over here, we can grab that bit that we just uh, wrote, and we can read it by doing net.readBit. So let's do that right now. We want to be working in this one, and we want to check for one thing. And actually, before we do that, sorry, I want to create a new variable up here. This is just going to be this variable here the local menu and we want to be checking if the menu which is just up here so if menu is equal to nil so if nothing is assigned to menu then we want to run all of this code first up we want to get rid of this local here and we just want to set menu equal to a new d frame tab all this over and then put the end here just to close that if statement and now we want to delete some stuff here and remove some stuff. The first thing we want to do is get rid of this make pop-up. We want to set the show close button to false. Because we no longer want the user to be able to close the derma menu whenever they press the X button. Just because the, implement, the implementation I made does not account for the exit button, exit button being pressed. So I'm just going to set that to false for now. And then after this, we want to do menu colon set delete on close. And I want to set this to false. So whenever this menu is closed, I don't want it to be deleted. I want it to stay there, but just kind of hide it away. Next up, we want to check whether or not the open variable or the read bit that we wrote in the init.lua file is equal to true or false and do whatever we need to do accordingly. So we just want to create an if statement here. If, and in parentheses, net.readBit. And this net.readBit will grab the value that was written right here. So since net.writeBit was set to open, the net.readBit will receive or read whatever open is set to. So if the net.readBit is equal to zero, or otherwise known as false, then we want to do something else and end that. Otherwise, we want to do something else. So if the read bit is false or zero, we want to menu colon hide. This will hide the menu from view, and the menu that is going to be hidden is the one that was created here and filled out with all of these properties here. Then after that, we want to do GUI dot enable the screen clicker to false. 
and I will show you what this does in just one second once we get into the game. Next up, if the net.rebit is equal to 1 or it's equal to true, we want to do menu colon show. That will show the menu. Then gui.enable screen clicker true. And again, I will show you this just right now, actually. All the code is done. We can go into the game now and actually test this out. I'm just going to reload the game here, make sure everything is correct. Uh, with this if menu equals nil, we want to put a then here. That's just a small mistake, my bad. And then everything should be good. I'm going to reload it one more time just to be sure. We shouldn't get any more errors, and everything should work flawlessly now. Let's go ahead and press F4. It opens it up. And as you can see, when I move the mouse, the camera no longer moves. But when I press F4 again, I can move it around. And I'm just going to show you what happens if we were to enable this to true instead of false. So now whenever the menu is open, oh, sorry, put that back to false and this one to false as well. Now what will happen, oh, one second, there we go. I can move around here normally press F4 and I can still move around normally. I don't want that behavior because I can't click on anything in the menu. So we set this to true to avoid that issue. So when I come in here, I can move the mouse around, click on things, and then press F4, get back out, and I can continue playing the game. Anyways, that is how you open and close the menu with the F4 key. Thank you all so much for watching, and I hope to see you next time.